entertainment luxury. Wait, hold up. Man, I sound awesome right now. What are you talking about? The Big D-O-Double-G is unquestionably a hip-hop legend. Snoop Dogg is the stage name of Calvin Cortezer Broadus Jr., an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, television personality, and actor, who was born on October 20, 1971. His musical career began in 1992 after he was found by Dr. Dre and included on his solo album The Chronic and Deep Cover, respectively. Since then, he has sold more than 37 million records globally. More significantly, he had a crucial role in the development of the West Coast rap scene. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Snoop Dogg. Number 1 Car Collection With roughly 14 distinct vehicles in his current collection, Snoop Dogg has one of the most extensive car collections among American rappers. Beautifully customized Pontiacs and Cadillacs from bygone eras make up half of his collection, while all-American vehicles from the contemporary age make up the other half. One such vehicle, though, stands out as the most expensive addition to his collection and comes from an altogether other pedigree. Snoop Dogg's most expensive automobile is the Rolls-Royce Phantom 7. The name Rolls-Royce stands for perfection and first-rate luxury. The British company sets industry standards with its best-in-class products, which are a source of great pride. People of all classes, even celebrities, aim to acquire a Rolls-Royce car at least once in their lives. Snoop Dogg owns a unique black-on-black Rolls-Royce Phantom 7, the British luxury barge's Series I pre-facelift model. The Phantom has a starting price of $343,000, making it the most costly vehicle in his collection, but, given Snoop Dogg's customization, we anticipate that price to be substantially higher. 6.75 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine with 454 horsepower and 531 lbft of torque was used in this model. On this particular model, a 6 speed torque converter was the only available transmission. In the Series 2, the facelift version of the Phantom 7, Rolls Royce kept this engine but tuned it more powerfully and improved the 8 speed torque converter. Number 2 Cannabis Industry the majority of Snoop Dogg's business interests outside of music and entertainment are in the marijuana sector. One of his earliest investments was in Leafs by Snoop, his own cannabis company that he founded in November 2015. He claimed to Variety that because it was made before legalization was even a thing, his investment in his own cannabis brand was foresightful, naturally, his business exploded after California and other states began legalizing pot. Snoop Dogg's investment company, Casa Verde Capital, concluded on a $100 million second round of funding in December 2020, according to Afrotech. According to MSNBC, Oxford Cannabinoid Technologies, a medical cannabis startup with support from Snoop Dogg, will start trading on the London Stock Exchange in May 2021. The Dogg father is a co-founder of the Los Angeles-based venture capital firm Casa Verde, which today announced its first investment into continental Europe, the firm's first investment in Europe more generally was into Oxford Cannabinoid Technologies in 2018. The dog father led a $15 million round into Lisbon-based ACECAN. ACECAN is a medical cannabis business that was established in 2019 and is dedicated to the growth and extraction of organic medical cannabis. One hour outside of Lisbon, in Vendas Novas, the business will utilize the funding to build a state-of-the-art production facility. Number 3 Hair Care Line Musician Snoop Dogg made the decision to create a hair care line, yes, Compton's Phineas is entering the hair care industry. The Cortezer hair treatment line is owned by Snoop Dogg. With this device, you may flat iron, press, and curl hair. This line of hair care products has a special, water and alcohol-free solution that works wonders on any head. Did I forget to add that this hair care line is available for both men and women? In a public interview with Steve Harvey, Snoop Dogg said that he has a cure for males who have bald heads from non-growth. According to Snoop Dogg, a group of academics and himself developed a system that helps men regain their hair who have been bald for years. Number 4 Kids Channel being the renowned hip-hop artist and media mogul that he is, Snoop Dogg started a new animated YouTube project aimed at children named, What Else, Doggyland. 
The new channel features kids' songs and nursery rhymes, as well as hip-hop and rap-infused fresh new renditions of beloved nursery rhymes and children's songs like Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, and Wheels on the Bus. Both YouTube Kids and the main YouTube channel have Doggyland available. The Snoop Youth Football League, which Snoop has been running since 2005 and is intended to keep inner-city youngsters off the streets, is his most recent family-friendly endeavor. The dog revealed in a video unveiling his new channel that his personality drives him to want to make videos for kids. He declared, I'm one of the largest kids you'll ever meet. He refers to himself as a bigger version of Bow Wizzle, the persona he plays in Doggyland films. Snoop remarked, Doggyland to me would be a 3D animated cartoon series created for kids. I recommend it for young children of all ages eventually because it is so influential, intelligent, and instructive. That's right my nizzle. Number 5 Luxury Mansion, Snoop Dogg paid $720,000 for this luxurious, 3,808 square foot luxury property in the affluent Diamond Bar District outside of Los Angeles, which sits on more than 2.8 acres of land. The home's value has more than doubled, with an estimated current value of $1.7 million. Snoop and his family have been in the four-bedroom, four-bathroom house, which was built in 1977, for more than 20 years. Snoop's home reportedly got a significant refurbishment recently, according to reports. Despite the size of his home, Snoop bought a second home on the same block, which he converted into a cutting-edge recording studio. He affectionately refers to his two-story house as the Chewich, which once had three bedrooms but is now used only for recording music. Snoop has allowed fans to take tours of his high-tech recording studio, which includes various conference rooms, flat-screen TVs, and gaming consoles. In short, it's the ultimate man cave. Number 6 Pet Fashion, Snoop Dogg is attempting to attract real dogs as new clients. With his new line of pet accessories under the name, Snoop Doggy Dogs, the rapper and businessman is venturing into the world of pet fashion. In a news release, Snoop Dogg said, If my dogs ain't fresh, I ain't fresh. They must dress like a top dog because these dogs and their attire are an extension of the dog himself, don't you think? Little Planet Productions, a clothing company, and Smack Entertainment, a talent agency, have joined forces to create the collection. Snoop Doggy Dogs features apparel and accessories that are reminiscent of Snoop's most memorable appearances, claims the announcement. Consider a stuffed dog toy in gleaming gold or a dog bowl rendered in brilliant gold and accented with a real metal chain. There are also canine t-shirts and jerseys emblazoned with the artist's logo. Bow, wow, wow. Number 7 Food Company, at Uncle Snoop's place, breakfast is never monotonous. He made the announcement that he would be bringing cereal to his Broadus Foods company back in August 2022. Broadus Foods is owned by Snoop, and Master P runs the company as its CEO. The Mama Snoop brand is owned by Broadus Foods, which currently sells a variety of morning foods such syrup, pancake mix, grits, cereal, and oatmeal. Three types of Snoop cereal will be offered cinnamon toasties, fruity hoops with marshmallows, and frosted drizzlers. By June 2023, the cereal will be sold across the country, claims Master P. Any true dog fan will love this. Number 8 Record Label, Snoop Dogg has taken over the well-known record company that gave birth to his illustrious career. The rapper billionaire bought the Death Row Records brand from MNRK Music Group, which is owned by a Blackstone-managed private equity vehicle. The investment firm that made the announcement did not provide any financial details about the transaction. Snoop Dogg expressed his enthusiasm at purchasing the label's name. Snoop Dogg, 50, said in a statement, I am happy and appreciative of the opportunity to acquire the famous and culturally significant Death Row Records brand, which has great untapped potential value. It feels fantastic to own the label I was a founding member of and a part of at the beginning of my career. Death Row Records was most likely purchased by Snoop Dogg for a substantial sum of money. How much money did he actually spend? According to reports, Snoop Dogg attempted to carry out a comparable transaction in 2021, but Blackstone, a private equity firm, 
won the auction and acquired MNRK Music Group for $385 million, known as E1 Music at the time. Snoop Dogg was able to commercialize his work and the work of others by taking over Death Row Records. A huge win for the Dog Pound. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Snoop Dogg. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.